Lord and Jesus, I think that is in that we are making all Lord from our hearts. How faithful you are in our lives, so our God. We thank you and we bless you this morning because of your faithfulness, our Lord. You are faithful, dear Lord. On our ways, you are faithful. In our homes, you are faithful. In our sin, you are certainly you are faithful to us. In everything we do, that my God, we have seen your faithfulness. And we thank you this morning. Asante, asante, asante. To ane kaniya kwa na kwa uku wako. To ane kaniya kwa na kwa maraka zako. Asante kwa moja wa kila mosha. Asante kwa na kwa jiri ya wa imachi. Asante kwa na kwa pati ya nema. O kwa na na kibari kusimama mele ya uso wako. Na kusimama mele ya kiti chako cha nehema. Na nehema kwa na kwa jiri ya ibada. Asante kwa kila mosha. Asante kwa na kwa kwa na kwa kila mosha. Wala mefika wala mosha. Na kila monsha kwa nengi tuka kuwa gulu Tuwa sema sante Mwana sante Tunajia chidi ya mikolone muwako Tiposa wanze nasi Na umarise pa moja nasi Katika china la yesu Mwiso sante Tumiona wanginifu wako kutoka wana jumapili Wana wengini tulio achana jumapili Na ukawa wanginifu ikizima Katika maisha yetu Na umeturekesha tena Katika yumba yako wana kupitia wanginifu wako ご視聴ありがとうございました Amen and amen, amen. God bless you, God bless you, praise and worship. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, church. Thank you, thank you, turn to your neighbor and tell him, welcome to the house of the Lord so that we can be blessed together as we continue to be in his presence and to hear his voice. We give him all the glory. Amen. We have all the reason to tell the Lord thank you. For everything we say thank you. We say thank you. Today I have this word in, our, in my mouth, in my lips. I woke up early in the morning, thanking, giving thanks to the Lord, thanking, thanking God. I didn't know why, 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 why did I wake up giving thanks unto the Lord at my hour of prayer. I woke up and my mouth was full of thanksgiving unto the Lord. And I continued to thank God, thanking God, thanking God, until this became part of me as I was praying. And that word I felt, I abandon all our today's teaching, which I have been teaching, and tell you to give thanks together with me. Because I don't know why the Lord is, is pushing me to say thanks. You know the Lord sees what we don't see. The Lord knows that which we don't know. We may not know, we may not see, but the Lord sees and He knows about our lives. Amen. Giving thanks unto the Lord. Giving thanks. Giving thanks to the Lord. And we give thanks to the Lord for everything. For every, for everything. But the first of the Solemnian chapter 5, 16 to 18. I want to read that portion as I continue to have with others. And then we continue from there. Today. Sababu do wa wana na jua. Kila pato wa tujui. Anaona kile tunamakaya tuoni. And if you are not yeye. Anatanzama mi anasata wa hats. Na peleka akilio chetu mbele sabwana na ibwana ananena na kila ananena basi na ya naachilia kwetu na kila naachilia kwetu kinakuwa semu yetu kwa na super sun na kinifanyika semu yetu basi ni vizuri tuendele kulikana na vile bwana ameachilia katika miwa yetu Amen Sijui kwa nini kwa hivyo I have to accept sababu ni kienda na hile yangu basi ni tanena teleta ni tanena hile yangu roa bwana hata kuwa nami Amen Baba Miniambia, give thanks. So today I want to tell the church to help me to give thanks. As I give thanks, give thanks. And after that, I don't know, maybe we are helping someone to give thanks because of what the Lord is doing to that person. And then he brings us, he, he, he makes us allow all of us to say thank you. And as we say thank you, because of one person, maybe Kunanjama Metendewa, Kunanjama Metendewa, Kunanjama Metendewa, Kunanjama Metendewa, Kunanjama Metendewa, 
Bwana kwa sababu au shukuru Bwana kwa sababu uko katika hali ya wema ya kushukuru. Ah ah unamshukuru because it is a command. It is a command. I will, I will say this as we continue. The Bible says in verse at the Selenians chapter 5 verse 16 and give there. Give thanks. Ah oh rejoice always. Amen. Do what? Rejoice. Rejoice. The word begins by rejoice. You rejoice when you open your mouth. You feel that your mouth is full of rejoicing in the Lord. Unamshukuru Bwana na unapomshukuru Bwana, yaani unapo wakati unafurahia, yes. Wakati una rejoice, wakati unafurahia, unafurahia kwa sababu kwanza kuna kitendo ametenda, hata kuna kitendo atatenda, hata kuna jambo nangojia ili Bwana akakutendee. Na ndio natoa shukurani unasema asante moyo wako wajaa furaha sometimes we feel joy joy because of the reports that we have received wakati unapokea report unasikia moyo wako furaha kwa hivyo asubuhi nikapokea report kutoka katika kinywa cha Bwana ya kwamba ni shukuru kwa hivyo na mimi naleta report <laughs> niliyopokea kwa Bwana ili tushukuru pamoja Bwana asifiwe sana sababu Paulo akasema I give you what I received from the Lord. Although it is about the holy communion, but this is a holy communion. We commune with our God through His Spirit. We commune together. I give you what I have received from my Father through the Holy Spirit. Oh, what we have, rejoicing, giving thanks. Why I didn't know? I just woke up. Tell me the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So rejoice. When your heart is rejoicing, even if there is anything that is causing you to, to, to have the pain in your life, that pain will be taken away because of the rejoicing, spirit of rejoicing in your spirit. Amen. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. You rejoice and then you pray. And not just a prayer, without ceasing. As you continue to rejoice, you continue to pray, you continue to ask, you continue to give supplication. Bwana sasa sana. Unaachilia, unaomba, Bwana nimefurahia. Bwana moyo wangu uko na furaha. Na sikii kwa nini niko na furaha? Lakini wapo Bwana wajua. You rejoice and you continue praying and without ceasing. Tuko pamoja. Tunafurahia na tunaomba. Sabaka times we go before the Lord. Mioyo yetu ikiwa mizito, mioyo yetu ikiwa tutii tuambie Bwana nini? Eh? Lakini kutakuwa kujua kile utaambia Bwana sio shida. Baba anasema ukienda kumwomba na ujui kile ambacho unasema, yeye anaelewa na kile atakwambia. Bwana siwe sana. Because anasema hata ukiwa ujui, eh? hata ukiwa ujui. Eh? Romans chapter 26, Biblia inasema likewise. Eh? Hata kama ujui, roho wa Bwana, eh? roho wa Bwana anafanya nini? Likewise, eh, the material, because you rejoice and you pray without knowing why are you pray, why are you rejoicing? Hmm? Romans says chapter eight verse twenty six, so that we can get this from the Holy Spirit. No, why am I rejoicing? You may not know why are you rejoicing, but the Holy Spirit you know, knows why are you rejoicing. Twenty eh? six. I need my Bible. Twenty-six, verse chapter eight, verse twenty-six. Aye, kuleko ato na hi waki ni kuleko ato na som. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray. <laughs> you rejoice and pray. Without knowing, amen. Without knowing, what are you supposed to do? To pray for the law of the spirit of life. Amen. Likewise, the spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groaning. Which cannot be altered. Amen. You rejoice, and at the same time you pray, although you don't know why are you praying. Uju iko ni ni waoma. Lakini kuna usaidizi, ana kusaidi ya ufraiye na ufraiye unaoma na wakati unafraiye na unaoma. Pas kita salika kikimi ambayo yuko na jua kama kita salika sababu ni roa na kujulisha na ni roa na kusukuma ufraiye na muombe sababu tu ni nini kina salika katika maoni. 
weaknesses. When you feel that why we pray, and the way I pray, and I feel that I am not in a position to pray and then rejoice, and uh -huh, he tells you, <laughs> the word tells us, if the Holy Spirit helps us to pray, because he knows why are we supposed to pray, and why are we supposed, supposed to rejoice, because he knows everything, and he sees where you don't see. He hears from our Father what you don't hear, yeah? and he releases that which you don't hear into your spirit, and later you will see, you will hear uh, someone say, I was just rejoicing, but I didn't know why I rejoiced, but after what? Or after that, I saw the fruits of my rejoicing. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes we wake up. Kurumi. Tunabuka tu. Najua ni roo ya watu unasikia. Leo ni miamuka nikiwa, I'm not in mood. Then it doesn't matter whether you woke up while you're not in mood. The Holy Spirit takes away your, what? That causes you not, not that causes you to be moody. Moody, I am, I'm not in mood. I'm not in mood. See, still as if I were in mood to pray, uh -uh. when he comes, when he begins to push you to pray, even if you are not in mood, you will find yourself pray, cry, and also in spirit. Because he knows. What is what's up? That which you don't know, he takes away because that is causing you to be moody. He knows us, the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he's our teacher, he's our counselor, and he knows everything. Don't worry too, I'm just, he's the one who's leading me to read the words. I have the, I have the notes which I laid down, but let me speak according to what is the, what, where he's leading me. Hata isi asiko katika hapa, lakini yeye di anajua kwa nini anaongezea. Kwa nasuwa sana, ni yeye atufuzi, ni yeye atufuzi, ni yeye atufuzi, ni yeye atufuzi, ni yeye atufuzi. Did you first call it that chapter 9? Ah, chapter, chapter, two, chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 9. That's the Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Hmm? I want to say why you still rejoice. And you shall be thankful. Even without knowing why am I? Why are you thanking God? Why are you rejoicing? Huh? 2, 9. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor hear heard. Even you are here. <laughs> has not heard what the Lord nor entered, have entered into the heart of a man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Praise the name of the Lord. Are ye? Unalewa wakila na men. You rejoice. You give thanks. Because you don't know why are you rejoicing and why are you giving thanks but in the prayer. This is what it comes out. It is written. It is written by our God. It is written for us. Hmm? That's why we have this scripture, text. No. Oh, Nanichanga. Says, what no one ever saw or heard, even Jew yourself. Because it is no one. Amen. Even you, you are among them. No one. Where was the Jew? Where was the Sikia? Kill the one of the Wambia. Like in the road, and the Sikia. Are you? No, it is written, no heart, no ear, no heart has conceived. Even your heart, as you rejoice, you don't know why are you rejoicing. Because your heart has not yet received. Your hearts have not yet seen. Your ears have not yet heard. Why are you rejoicing? But the Holy Spirit has already known why you should rejoice. Mabo. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Mm. To the, 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 but God has revealed them to us. Amen. Through His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Those deep things of God. Which you don't know. The Holy Spirit knows. Mm -hmm. Raise up your hand and tell the Lord, I want you, I want to know those deep, deep things through your spirit. Reveal them to me. Reveal them as I continue to rejoice, as I continue to give thanks, as I continue to pray, as I continue to pray without ceasing the Holy Spirit to help us to reveal what the Lord asks for us. Praise the name of the Lord. It is for us to continue in prayer. Those who have joined us, we are giving thanks. The word is giving thanks. You give thanks to the Lord. You give
give thing, th things to God. Why give thanks in, in everything? Because God calls us to a life of continual thankfulness. Why give thanks? People can say, can ask, why give thanks? God come there, I'm coming there. Tony, why give thanks? Why give thanks in this way that I don't know am I then giving thanks? Hmm? Because God calls us to a life of continual thankfulness. He has called us. As he has called us to salvation, he has called us hmm, to a thankfulness situation. Every time you give thanks, you, your heart is full of thanksgiving. We are going to ski at Now, I will send me a mama. It is God's will that we give thanks. Amen. It is God's what? God's will. It may not be your will to give thanks. I'm not in the mood of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. There is no problem with that. Remain in your mood. But the command, the command of God is what? Give thanks always. So not that you say everything in every day, every, always used to be used to you used, used to be smiling. Uh-uh. Who -uh. wanna smile? Who see wanna smile? God's command stands to sure. Give that. And I was gonna find a baby. Usukur. Na katika kusukuru. Katika kusukuru. Una situations. Una food chanila. Sasetani. Katika mesha. Wakatu na seba. Thanks you know. Yes, Lord, I give you thanks even for the stress that I am because I know I'm cutting out of it. The devil knows that this becomes a loser. And I do an apotessa. What that on yourself at the situation I am, I know I'm cutting out, and I do a is losing a candidate. To go by Moses, an apotessa, like you don't deserve a baby like I am. Not every time. It is for a while. You suffer for a while. And when you put you understand that and you let your heart know that suffering is for a while. Amen. It is that the devil knows. You understand that tomorrow you will come out of the circle. And that it becomes to fear and they let you go. I didn't know someone For what man knows thing, eh? For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man. Which is in him. Ni nani mtu anajua mambo yake. Kila umelala na bila unaamua mungu hakuna mtu anajua. Lakini roho yako anajua. Anajua bila umeamka bwana sio sana. Even so no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Roho yako anaelewa na mambo yako. Moyo wako si ndio moyo wako. Unaelewa na mambo yako yale umewasa. Yale umepanga, yote anajua, na roo anajua, wana suwe sana. Lakini mambo ya mungu kwa mtu, ni roo anajua, pile mungu amepanga kwa jili yako. Wana suwe sana, wewa ujajua na roo wako anajua. Lakini roo wako anakuwa kwa, anajua na anaileta. Kwa kwa moja, kwa hivyo tuwelewa ya mwamba, kuna fitu ambaye buwana, ambaye anatutendea. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us by God. <laughs> there are things that God has given us freely through his son Jesus Christ. When he went on the cross, he went on the cross and he fought all our battles so that we can receive victory freely. Freely. Was speaking with somebody. Juicy. When today is Sunday, Thursday. Say we give me a uko hali. Sita sema wasi elewa. Manasuwa sana. For the security purpose. 
Watu walienda kwa waubezi. Mnataka waubezi. Na sina shida wale unaendanga. Lakini kuna shida ile nitakwambia. Muombezi ana madhabahu kwa kanisa, ana madhabahu kwa nyumba yake. Amen. Ana madhabahu kwa nyumba. Aja set apart. Ana sio sana. Na ana fellowship kuna watu, ana fellowship na wila anakuja. Nataka mnielewe. Na sina shida. Usinitujie nataka niwafungue bana tu. Bana sio sana. Anakuja kufanya fellowship na yule ambaye amekuja amuone. Lakini hana fellowship na watu wote. Katika nyumba ya Bwana huyo basi, we have the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And when we sing and when we we continue to rejoice, the spirit of God speaks. Sasa akaenda kwa uombezi. Akaenda akaombewa akapewa kila alipewa. Na yeye makosa akakosa kulipa. Unajua shetani ana vilingi hivi. Alipo kosa kulipa siku ya tatu. Ha? Kisilani. Kisilani. Sababu jaribu yeye kijana wake the first boy. Kisilani ikamuingia. Akapita kafuruka vitu vyote zile ambazo ziliwekwa na kuuliza muombezi wa Mungu atakupatia vitu. Nataka tuelewane. Si ninyi mnaendana. Si ninyi mnaendana. Anawapatia vitu. Anaapa kukupatia vitu, anakupatia vitu gani? Mungu amekupatia roho mtakatifu wa kundisani. Sasa anakupatia vitu upepe nini? Amepewa mchanga, amepewa makucha, amepewa vitu, amepewa mbegu, be, maiti mbegu, amepewa vitu na mchanga tofauti na ile ya kwao, anapepa analeta kwa nyumba yake. Hmm? Kufika hapo naye kijana alipofanya hivyo, naye shetani akakuta kufuruka mboma. Wote wakatoa nguo kwa kijana, mama, wote wakatoa nguo wakawa uchi. Nataka muniambie ni muombeze ama ni shetani. Hebu help me. Acha ni nawaki ninaenda kuombewa. Ninaenda kuonewa. Unaenda kuonewa nini? Hiyo ambaye Mungu aweze akaona kupitia roho yake mtakatifu ni nini unaenda kuona? If God knows things that which you don't know. He is ready to help you know. Bwana sure sana. Lakini unaenda kuombewa na mtu akuone na akupatie kitu. Hiyo anakupatia ni nini? Hiyo sababu ndiye anakuja kukusumbua. Na wewe kama umepewa. <laughs> wewe kama umepewa, jua leo ni kisirani. Bwana <laughs> sure sana. Hiyo ni shida ya watu ambao wanaenda kuonewa. Bwana sure sana. Kisirani kichiti kizima. Hakikuwa kinachua kama kuna mtu ameenda kwa muombezi na akakosa kulipa walitulia pale kumbe muombezi ananipangwa na usipolipa ni kama mkanga anafuatilia eh toka kwa moja thank you thank you because of confidence bana spare sana kwa hivyo kijiji chote kikapata kijana ametoa nguo mama ametoa nguo wote ni masaa pale sasa muombezi huyo amaleta haibu ni muombezi wa nini washinwe washinwe Sema washindwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo na naye kupeleka kwa muombezi akupeleke kwa mchungaji katika ikamu ya Bwana katika magapao ya Bwana inanena juu ya maisha yako sio ile inanena mchanga na mbegu na mafuta mafuta ya watu unapeleka wapi leta kanisa la Bwana leta sababu kwa ushindi Sometimes we do shameful things wewe ni mtu unaenda kwa Mungu kuimba mikono na maneno ni haya ya Mungu he knows everything. Hmm? Na unaenda kupewa vitu na no, 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 watu wanakuja kanisani na wanaketi tu kanisani. Inatangaza wanaopewa hizo vitu na wanakaa kanisani roho ya Bwana aanze msako. Aanze msako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Aanze msako sasa. Asante msako. Wale wanaosumbua kanisa watoke kutoka kuchumbua kanisa. Watoke. Watu kama wangu wakimbeba kinyango hiyo kanisa roho bwana atatembea hata tembea hata mbaja atakuwa anainua mikono mikono inashuka sababu kuna mtu anabeba vinyango na amekaa kwa nyumba na ameacha vinyango kwa nyumba yake na anakuja kwa nyumba ya bwana kwa mtu nini shame on you shetani pamoja na watu wako wa aina hiyo amen god has given us is his spirit all searches what do we desire kila unahitaji lilia bwana Hapia Bwana na kushukuru naendelea na kuomba bila kukoma Bwana siku moja ataachilia Waiting upon the Lord doesn't mean that you wait one day you wait two days no you continue it is a continual present tense and tomorrow you wait upon him tomorrow the day you continue 
you are, you are, you are a child. You can't undo them. Continue waiting upon the Lord. That's why the Bible says, write it down in the vision. Even if it tarries, it will come to pass. It will come to pass when you come into maturity. Sasa hawa wataona Mungu. Na wataenda 
tena kwa mkanga. Mimi sijui kama kulikuwa mchungaji sielewi. Akaamalizia akaenda. Nikasema wacha ningekuwa hapo na ninaenda huko. Ninapaelewa. You know it is good to understand and know who you are. Unless you know who you are, you utafanya mambo ambayo kuchanganya na ichanganye dunia na ichanganye watu. It is a time for we servants of God. Ukipata vitu kama hivi, bring light. Don't let people remain in darkness. Tell the Lord like Elijah, kujulikane kuna Mungu anajibu na moto. Amen. Na akajibu na moto watu wote wakamrudia Bwana na Mungu akanyesha mvua. Hii shida tuko nayo ya moto mvua. Tabia zetu Mungu atusaidie. Amen. Tulikuwa hapa tuendelee. Eh jump from there and see kai hapo sana. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 7 and 8 as I need to run because of time I have only 30 minutes. I want to let you go on time. Philippians chapter 4 Sometimes things in life or in our lives might be bad or be hardset, but in these in those moments that God asks us to do what? To thank Him always. To thank Him always. Finally, brethren. Four four. Four four.
Wacha ni kwa ni makazi ya kiwakati wamepewa manifesto na hawajaweza kufuata manifesto yao. Tunataka mtu atuambie Mungu njia yetu ni hii. Na tunaenda This is my prayer. I pray that after this election the one who is going to be elected is going to go as at the salon. Tuambie Bwana asante. Siku tuita wakati tunaenda kuomba wapate. Watuite tuambie Bwana asante. This is my prayer. And as I continue to pray, I pray that the people are going to cause however I don't want to say however. However, we will go as to where to Kasaram to pray with that president and they still are all things are possible with the God. And that is the one I'm asking God in my prayers. I'm not going to tell you who because I don't want you to tell God for this. No. Tell the Lord a man. A man. A man. A man. Who's going to lead us? No, the Bible says what? When a righteous man leads a nation, the nation does what? It's at peace. It is at peace. And when there is peace, we rejoice. We don't want it. Mungu atuongoze hata kama ni nani atuletee Kiislamu tena. Atuletee sita tena. Hmm? Na hii saa hii tunapewa 200 200 200 unaona watu wanakimbia. Mtu anachukua 200 hapa, anajua anaenda baada mtitunde tena, anakimbia anapewa 200, unasikia anaenda wapi makutano, anakimbia anapewa 200. Bwana siwe sana. Akienda nyumbani hapo na 600 minus Katnas God. Anasema leo na Mary Jones acha nikwambie hata wakichaguliwa where did they get that money they will get that money out of us kwani ninaogopa kusema hivi watu wanatoa wapi wanatoa wapi si wanatoa kwa tu sisi ile koti yetu sisi zile pesa zetu watakuja tena kusikujilipa na hizo pesa zetu tena hizo pesa wanachukua 200 hiyo unaweka hichi kwa kisirani ndio na na kanisa tunadharauliwa mpaka tupande bali na tuuse nyoka nyoka ikipitia hapo utasimama wewe sasa hizi nitaanza hapa pale hapo fisi ikiingia hapa utasimama na sasa mtakuwa kicheka wapi cha kutafuta fisi ulise na nyoka utasimisha kweli kani yule kutuchezea jamani anyway it is a manifesto of our man ni hapo na anajua kwa nini lakini unajua mlevi mmoja kile alisema si ya mtu wa Mungu si ya mtu wa Mungu ni mlevi mmoja alisema ni kadhio ni guru akasema badhani hiyo anajua mahali atatoa pesa kuliko wale wanasema kuna pesa <laughs> kile watu ni mbaya na wazi tunapata pesa wale huyo anajua unajua ukienda pale nje kwa kwa kuvishana na watu utamishana ndio anasema mkae kwa yeti ukisema unaambiwa si ya badhani hiyo anatuambia anausa badhani na anausa nyoka atasikiza wapi anajua mahali atatoa pesa kuliko yule anatuambia ako na pesa ako na pesa na ajua atatoa wapi hiyo ni vitu ya kuchanganya mawazo yetu kenya iko pesa si kwamba ina pesa ni mismanagement and we have to pray when the gates are getting to the authority we pray against of corruption kenya has a lot of money we pray for corruption to catch corruption katika jina la Yesu Kristo na tukatae ndoa ya kabila ati huyu tutamweka hapa sababu ni wa mtu wa kwangu na huyu tutamweka hapa Kenya inakuwa divided by men wachanganyikiwe sema wachanganyikiwe wale wanataka kutuchanganyisha wachanganyikiwe no the bible says in job chapter 5 verse 12 God will cause men that their hands should not call in duty in frustrates and frustrate mawazo ya watu We need one nation, one people, one Kenya. Tuko pamoja. Nikiwa kikoyo nisikie vizuri. Ukikoyo akiwa mkamba, nikiwa Kisumu nisikie niko nyumbani. Nikiwa huko nisikie niko huko. Bwana asifiwe sana. Si wewe ukisikia ni kama muombaji na wewe ni wanji hiyo. Tunahitaji Kenya wani. Kenya wani. Kenya wani. Mwanafunzi wa Mungu. Kenya one, we need Kenya one. Kenya one. 
Unaona muone rangi ya Kenya unipende. Usione mimi hadi niko huko. We need to know it. Uko wapi? He upsets the plans of cunning people and he traps the wise in their own schemes so that nothing they do succeed. Kila watafanya ule atachukuliwa akianza mapango yake mingi. Iwe wake. Ako confused. We need a man who's going to lead us. In the eye of that we are ready to rejoice. Na tujue bila tutalipa maneno. Sikukula nikolipa. Tuache maneno mengi tukikula tulipe. Imekula na nipo. Tulipe, tuishi. Na kama italipa na generation ya namba ngapi sawa? Sababu sisi si hatutakuwa. Maana siwe sana. Na wengine tutakuwa because hundred and twenty are not going to die less than that days. Amen. Rejoice. We are commanded to do what? To rejoice under all circumstances and obedience is possible because true joy is the law, is in the Lord. True joy is in the Lord. This is a command from our God to rejoice because true joy is in the Lord. Hakuna mane begini bali on afra. Sahi watu wanafuraya kwa sababu ya tupesa kidogo. Wacha, after eight, after nine. Hakuta kwa kukimbeo bewe bali. Hawa wajia umeo watakuwa ngumu. Wata kukalia ngumu. Hata wale tumechakua. Utakuwa naenda kwa ofisi yako bali na hini. Na asame ya kujui. Na wakati ya likuwa hini. Wacha nisiseme hini. Mwa nusaidi. We need the people who are going to be friendly to us. Regardless, I have shoes or I don't have shoes. Rejoice. I had went back over here, verse 17. You rejoice and you do what? Pray without ceasing, verse 18. Verse 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. For she, we rejoice because it's a will of God. Not because you are willing to do. No. Because God commands us and that is his will. Mwa, muni frahi, muni shukuru tu. Shukuru tu. Na mwambia wana asante kwa kila mwanzia. Asante. Kwa hala mbae wote umewalete. Siku mwanzia nilikuwa na mwambia. Kutoka the presidency. Oh, seats. Zote mbaka nika mwambia ule arabika kura. Na nika sema bwana unatuambia. Proverbs 16.33. I carry my word. Hey, let me understand. I carry my fault. You know it is in the Bible. Fourteen is in the Bible. Sixteen is that three. I carry my fault. I go and cast my fault. And after casting my fault, I leave every, everything in your hands because the results comes from our God. You are not here, Mr. The lot is cast into the lap, but it is every decision, eh? but every decision is from the Lord. When we have put ya and a cast, like any results in the sun, the sun, Ochagua, then in another, in the water, say, Yaw, and who again in Wapata, what you find a campaign, Yaw, Yaw, stuck in the same divide. Wana sema, wana nangana, mimi ni wawe, mimi ni wawe, ni kasikia kwa kitu kwa nainukanga, wakati ni naona watu wana jesea mungu, ni kawambia, please, ni kwa pale karibu koti, wapendo, wazuri, na wana bishana, mungu ni kasema, wana jua, wakisema huyu, huyu, wana kasirika, wakisema huyu, ni kawambia, siwa kuwapendo, I love you, all of you, we are all God's children, and we are all sons of this nation, let me tell you, hao muna pigania, alikuwa na pigania wale wawili, Watatu wana kotea. Wawo wawili. Watatu wako wana na candidate. Amen. Hawo wawili muna pikalea. After this, hakuna mwote ya kakuja kulima kwa wako. Amen. Wachendi kuchukiana kwa sababu ya wana siyasa. Mukimaleza hivyo. Nikuja huyo na mchukia tia nakuwa rafiki yako. Mwana siyasa wata mwana dena. Five good years. Hata barabara. Hii. Sikuna mwote hivyo waka katetani menisubwa miaka miki ni kendo mchaches. Na sikuna mwote rafiki yako wana ume kule. Until you want to have them or produce, I can't deal with them. I can't deal with them. I can't deal with them. I'm not sure, sir. 
Nikawaambia muache. Hii mstari inisaidia sana. Nikawaambia chukua kura yako siku hiyo. Enda tumba kwa ndepe. Ukiambia bwana mimi nimemaliza yangu. Ule wangu apite ama asipite. Amen. Na ninawasaidia leo. Apite ama asipite. Mimi nimepika ku mimi nimepika kula. Usipopika kula ndio utahukumika. Ule wako ulikuwa anapenda asipopita. Unajua kila mtu anapenda hata watoto kwa nyumba. Kwangu kwa watoto wale wale kwa nyumba nyumba kila mtu ako na candidate. Hata wale watoto hata kajose. Kajose kana candidate. Sasa kajose kana ana kula. Lakini wakipita hivyo nasikia mtu president wangu. Hii nikamuuliza wewe president huyu ni na anamuita jina. Sitaki nikwambie. Hmm? Na please hapo na wake ana sio sana na jina hapo na yake na baba yake na mimi na ndugu yake kila mtu anaona candidate yake lakini hapisi ni hope at home kwa ni na wako asipopita usipike ndugu yako sababu si wewe ni sababu si kwa mikononi mwa mungu si kwako make your motion and cast your vote but god as the final say it is god who has the final say na by the way wanaume wamejipanga na niliwamalizia na hiyo wanaume wamejipanga wamejipanga wateni vita wanaume wamejipanga wewe unafikia ule unataka kupikia na kuendelea na usiye kubwa na mambo ya ibaba na amani ipatikane amen wacha nitoke pale my god wacha nitoke hapo wacha nitoke hapo tena nimalize this time babu no time amen point to the apple children of most i hmm Amen. You know our evil one can be joyful when things are not good around us. You can rejoice. And that is why Paul says so. Four verses. Hiyo hiyo Biblia ni chapter four verse two. Singine nitaruka because of time. Alafu nilete kingine ka kwa hapa nimalize. Four verses two says I know how to be a bust. Amen. And I know how to be bound. Everywhere and in all things. I have learned both to be full of the first to be full and to be and you need to have a mambo yote both to about and to serve to serve and need bana sio sana lakini na yote nitendeke hiyo mambo ya mezoe lakini nitendeke hata mpashikia mungu kuna mambo mezoea hapo na Paul walikuwa wamezoea kukaa bila pesa na walikuwa na pesa wakiwa wajaingia katika hiki bana sio sana na ikiwa hivi wapenda hata hao na ja hata hao wamekasirika hata mambo iwaje kuna kitu kimoja hata kosa kufanya na kuelewa kuna Mungu amen wapenda wacha tuelewe kuna Mungu kuna Mungu na mambo ya dunia yote inapita inapita hata yeye anakusumbua inapita i can do all things eh hey, alimalizia na kusema hii mambo yote inanisumbua niwe na cha niumie niwe nina ah ah ninajua kufanya mambo yote nikiwa ndani yangu naye itia nguvu wapenda wacha tuseme hivyo naye Daudi akasema haya naenda bio nimaliza hiyo Daudi akasema haya Psalms 63 Psalms 63 Sote tumusaidie yeye na yeye tayari ingekuja Psalms 63 Oh God, you are my God. Amen. You are You are my God. Anyway, I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and dusty what? Land where there is no water. Hmm. Hiyo ni maneno kutoka katika kinywa cha cha Daudi bibi summarize. Bwana nitakutafuta na Bwana nitakuabudu na Bwana nitakupenda katika inchi kafu na inchi ile na maji. Mali ukafu, ukafu ni mali kuna shida. Hakuna chakula kama sisi tu. Hakuna maji. Acha nikwambie wale tuko na ngombe. Vile ngombe zinasumbua sasa saa hii. Hakuna nyasi. Hiyo ni ukafu. Hmm? 
Lakini Daudi anasema kuwa na nyasi kusiwe na nyasi. Kusiwe na chakula kuwa na chakula. Bwana nitakutafuta. Asubuhi na mapema nitakutafuta. Wapema lazima tutafute uso wa Bwana. Katika kila mchango lazima tutafute uso wa Bwana. Ni nini nitakutenganisha na upendo wa Bwana? Ni shida. Ni kukosa mazi, ni njaa. Ah ah. Daudi akasema, "Hakuna. I have looked for you in the in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory." The power and the glory is in the house of the Lord. It's not in our house. Katika nyumba yako kuna kisilamu. Watoto wana shida. Wanataka vitabu, hakuna pesa, unakasirika. Mke anataka kiatu, mama mzee anataka eh? kasweta kambaliti, kisilamu kwa nyumba. Toka hapo, ukija katika nyumba ya Bwana, kupatikane kuna furaha. Unataka unakuja katika nyumba ya Bwana kuona vitabu na wewe. Kuona vitabu. Sababu tunakimbia kitasikini kwa nyumba, tunakuja kuponea vitabu katika nyumba ya Bwana. Daudi alijua katika sanctuary, eh? In the sanctuary I've looked for you. Brethren, let us know that in the house of the Lord there must be full of peace. God help us to have peace always in the house of the Lord. But if your care is not, this is my prayer. Because this is David in you. In the house of the Lord there is power and there is glory. If there is Islam, no what? No power and no strength. We come out weak. But when the sanctuary is full of power, like it was in the morning when we were singing and when we were dancing. That is why I'm preaching at peace. Eh? Amen. David knew this. Go and chakula in a dry land, in a dry place, in a dusty land. Eh? I will seek him in your sanctuary. And as your God sends help to his people in his sanctuary. That is Psalms 20, verse 1, 2, 3. Amen. He sends help in the help of the Lord, in the house of the Lord, there is help. What is your son? And in verse 2 and 3. I want to listen again. I want to keep time. God help me. Me want to keep time. Amen. Verse 3 and 4. Because you are loving in kindness, it's better than Yanupendo wa Mungu ni wa maana kuliko maisha yetu. Amen. Kuliko maisha yetu. My limbs shall praise. Yaani nitakushukuru. Sina ile rejoicing. When you praise, you are rejoicing in the Lord. Amen. You are rejoicing. Hapo ni wewe uimba peke yako. Na uimba peke yako. Na uimba peke yako. Wakati unaimba peke yako, na unasikia roho anashuka, usikate. Endelea kuimba tu. Na ukisikia kuna kwa wimbo kalikuwa kana shusha roo, usikate hako wimbe kengine. Endelea kuimba tu. Endelea kuimba tu. You know I was a praise and a worship. Wakati na naimba ni nasikia hako. Unajua kimbo unasikia. Kanisa inaaza ku. Mufu, mufu, kuna mufu hivine. Usikate hiyo wimbo. Usikate. Utasikia hako. Kile hile hile. Hile hile. Nasikia wimbo moja ni wimbo wakati moja. Oh my God, I'm sorry at the days. Ni kaimba ni kasikia. Roo anaaza kushuka. Roo anakuja. Roo anakuja, na saa hiyo mbili hako karibu kuingia, ni katua sika kata. Kaka, haka kuja, roo haka kuja, roo haka kuja, pa 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 pa. Hai, sisi sote, tuwa, tukatuko chini, kila mtu hata mbili, alichukua taimi kuinuka. Tika ya rapu, ya kana boka, boka, kanisari, kwa imbaji naomba hiyo roo iwasukie katika china la Yesu Christo. Iwasukie pamoja na kanisa, na ikishuka usikate. Kata kama mbili anakuja, saa hiyo sabi sisi yako. Wana sikuwa sana. Saa hiyo roo akishuka sabi sisi ya mbili. Usiche siku moja ukate roo, ukate kuhibo. Ati kwa sababu ni masaha. Hapana, kuna masaha singini anasema sabi sini yangu. Let me tell you, anishuka. Akashuka. Akashuka. Ni papatu peke yake alinuka kukate ya ibada. Sababu alinuka na maungu. Haka umbesha. Haka umbesha. Si neno sasa. You know sometimes we can preach a letter. A letter. Dry. When the spirit is not in the message, a letter. And the letter kill it. We sang. Uka, uka, uka. Uka, sikia kanisa ya nasema. Uina, uina, uina. Chapa kuji uya anasema nini? Uya anasema, kai ni naoma wana katika china na yesu kusu siku moja. Itendeke tena. Wana rudi tena. Hii 
kwa siku alikuwa tunaimba na tunaona wingu linasuka sio wingu isuke sasa hata hivi sasa hivi bwana sio sana kile kilitoa wingu kiondoke wingu irudi hmm? hivyo baba akaibuka akaupesa 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 mpaka kanisa ikanyamasa kile sasa hivi aliachia neno muumbile hapo hivi that is what we desire praise when our limbs is praising our god praise the name of the lord that is what we desire to have rejoicing having what being that way hapa kwa kasema unasema hata kuna mtu unasema wewe unajua pastor hii kila ninapita ah ah hata wewe hii kila ninapita amen ujui mungu akisema ni rejoice nilikuwa napita nini na mimi mstari hapa kwa kasema kifungu cha 3 mstari wa 17 hapa 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 ndani msaidia kitafuta yake nafikiri kwa kutafuta yangu ni rais mstari wa 7 akasema vumi ta tatu akasema for the fig trees may not blossom no fruit nor of fruit be on the vines <laughs> for the labor of the holy may may fail hmm? may fika may fail for the fig trees may not blossom nor of fruit be on the vines amen Though the labor of the olive may fail and the field yields no food though the flock may be cut off from the fold huh? and there be no herd in the shelter what is is conclusion conclusion ni yake ileenda nini let verse 18 i will rejoice in the lord i will joy in the god of my salvation then i will rejoice in the lord i will joy in the in i will joy in the god of my salvation praise the name of the lord this is when the things are black and white and red they come with a kaniko apa kwa akasema wasaa wasipo sana sabibu ngombe siwe kwa 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 nini yake ama hakuna maiti wa a a kuwa na kuna gari mimi sijali kile ninajali ni kwamba mimi nitamfurahia mungu wangu wa wokovu bwana swala sana hiyo ni wakosi ya kwamba haijalishi kile kitatokea haijalishi kama nimelala hapa sijalala mm. usingizi nimelala umepotea a a mimi nitamshukusha mungu wangu wa wokovu sababu ninajua Ninapoendelea kumtukusa kuna kile kinatokea cha maana. Kwa pema, let us say like a book. Let us say like Job. When the wife told him, "Cast God and die." Jinga wewe, lakini hapo muita mtinga, nimwambia una nena kama wanjinga. Wanawake wanjinga. Hapo muita, sometimes we need wisdom. <laughs> Alinena with wisdom. Wewe utakutukane Mungu ukufe. Kwani ni tukana Mungu mkufa? Akasema hata kama that is job chapter what. Na maliza sasa tunaenda kuona. Job chapter 2 verse 9. Hata kama unaniambia ni mtukani. Hmm. Ah, alimwambia mtukani but job 27 verse verse 1 akasema nina samalizi na mawazo sababu iko hapo. Hata kama mambo itakuwa na maana gani 27. Hata kama inakuwa na maana gani maneno i will keep my integrity hmm? amen unajua kuna watu wanapotesa hapa integrity because of she problem hmm? amen msijana na mosa kuolewa anakaa anasikia hii kitu hii acha nipige kona niolewe amen tunisome hii sasa inaanza kunipatia nini this job can say more of a job continued is is it is cause and say as god lives who has taken away my justice as job 27 that's one as long as my breath is in me and the breath of god is in my nostrils yani kiwa nina breathe na 27 27 ikiwa nina breathe na breathe ya mungu iko hapa fumsi ya bwana iko katika mafuta yangu Fumu si ya Bwana. 
mwanachi Bwana tumekusa kushama shanke tunajua bwana wa mabwana kwa kutazama kwa wanadamu kwa kuwasha kwa wanadamu kwa kutembea kwa wanadamu kwa ishia za wanadamu wenda bwana tuelewi kwa nini bwana anatuambia tushukuru kwa sababu ya vile kulivyo kwa vile tumepita kwa vile tumepambana lakini bwana kwa sababu umesema bwana unatuambia katika ishaya na tano na mstari wa kumi na moja unangoja neno lako bwana ili ukaweze kulitimiza hivyo bwana ninaomba Mungu wa majeshi kwa ajili ya maisha ya watoto wako kwa ajili ya maisha ya kila mmoja bwana ukatimishe neno lako ukatimishe neno lako bwana nimeninena kulifanya na bila umenituma bwana ni wewe umenipatia hiyo neno bwana Mungu wa majeshi hivyo bwana timisha timisha katika moyo wa kila mmoja nataka kila mmoja arudi Nasimania Hivyo Bwana ninajua nikishukuru shetani atashindwa na mbinu zake asina nguvu na uweza katika maisha yangu na ninajua utanijibu nijibu Bwana sababu wajua kile naitaka katika jina la Yesu Kristo Asante Bwana ndio ni mikono yetu yangu kiambia Bwana asante ni kosa tukaweza kumalizia pamoja kama wewe ni mkonjo sasa tutaenda kuombea wale wale ambao ni wakonjo tutaenda kuomba kwa wale ambao wako na hitaji ndipo safambie Bwana asante kwa sababu hiyo hitaji Bwana utakuja kukutana nalo utakutana na kila hitaji utakutana na kila kilio Mungu ni mwenye mtu for a mighty but it comes in the morning this is your word my God it doesn't matter what they pass through at night but the morning has come this morning has come and the word has come to us to rejoice in your law to rejoice in your law to be thankful unto you to have an attitude my God oh my God I'm giving thanks unto you in the name of Jesus Christ kwa sababu wewe ni Bwana kwa sababu wewe wawesha kwa sababu wewe watenda kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu hivyo Bwana watoto wako tumekuta mbele zako kupitia neno lako umetupatia hivyo Mungu wa rehema nimeamina achilia uzima achilia njia pasipo na njia achilia njia Bwana pasipo na mwelekeo achilia mwelekeo pasipo na kuelewa bila watatenda achilia njia achilia njia pasipo na giza achilia nuru katika jina la Yesu Kristo mali ni lava ya tungana tungua njia tungua njia unanena vizuri katika kitabu cha Isaya wana wa mabona you shall open our doors oh my god and they will remain continually open in the name of Jesus Christ mali kuna kushindikana mali kuna kuumia mali kuna kuteseka mali ambayo waelewi njia mali ya waelewi vile kesho watafanya wengine bwana wa mabwana oh hatuna chakula wengine hatuna pesa wengine hatuna pesa za mtengo wengine hatuna pesa bwana wengine hatuna kila tunahitaji lakini bwana umetuambia tushukuru na tangaza roho wako bwana roho saidisi asaidia kila mmoja kupata kila anahitaji kupata kile kimeleta uzito kupata kile kimeleta hakuna njia katika jina na Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu wale ni wakonjo wale ni wakonjo wale ni wakonjo na tangaza upanyaji wale ni wakonjo upokee upanyaji i rebuke the spirit of sicknesses i rebuke that spirit of infirmity i rebuke that force that causing pain if you are alive in the name of Jesus was and i declare healing healing from your head up to the soul of your feet in the name of Jesus Christ I declare who sameness who sameness my god who sameness my god in the name of Jesus Christ every need in everyone's heart my god I pray that our god to have made to minister to every need it is your word that my god you shall give us the desire of our hearts our god every need is their desire they desire you to minister to their needs of our God and they heal them and they bring results and they give them answers in the name of Jesus my God and my Father wabariki kila mosha
Hivi ni kila moja. Tetea kila moja kila itaji. Itaji ya pesa. Itaji ya cash. Itaji ya cash. Itaji ya kila na itaji. Hata singine ya tuta tacha. Bwana kutana. Na kila itaji bwana wa mabwana. Unangotea neno lango kamilishe. Kamilisha katika maisha yao. Wanio ingia katika nyumba yako. Wakiwa wana fura. Na tangasha fura. Fura katika miyo yao. Rekesha fura. Rekesha. Rekesha mbumbia. Rekesha tamanio. Ya miyo yao yao buwana. Asante asante. Kwa sababu ya waminifu wako. Na kwa sababu ya upendo wako. Na sama asante. Asante mutakatifu. Asante mungu wa neema. Asante mungu wa neema. Asante kwa waibati. Asante kwa waze. Asante kwa wamama. Vijana wa sijana. Watoto wa tanga. Wate kila mocha. Wana watungaji. Tote tetu wa nekanie. Tumareki kama kanisa lako. Tua nekanie sababu wa weza. Asante asante asante. Na saiti ya yotu kwa kuzunguru. Kwa jili ya jie tubona. Miaka mitano umetupatia. Na umetuweka. Na umetudumisha. Wana tosema asante. Wala mbemi ya katano. Tulipika kura na tunaenda kupika ingini. Tunaomba wana tupatia raisi. Tupatia gamana. Tupatia msie. Tupatia mpi. Tupatia reku uma nive. Tupatia kila anaitaji. Kila wawote anaitajika. Katika kila ufisi. Kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu. Watu wambaye watatuongoza. Kukutafuta wewe buwana. Tuasema sante. Pukia sima na sukurani. Sababu ya wema wako. Na bariki kila mosha. Na tangasa maraka. Jiu ya mwesi ya kila mosha. Na achilia fura. Na tangasa achilia fura ya wakofu. Katika mwesi ya kila mosha. Tutuza na tulinde. Katika china na yesu. Kwa sante kwa 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 I pray that God you are going to bless us. You are going to rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to bless us, O Lord Almighty. You are going to restore back our King, our and our God, that whatever we have, we have lost through our offering, our tithe, and our thanksgiving, O God, and our seed in every giving that we are going to hover on our altar, our God and our Savior. You are going to bless us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you. Rebuke the devourer. God of mine. So that is we rejoice. We are going to have success. Wana barikikina mose. Natu mose. Kwa tukufu wa china lako. Ibada hii. Wana baini ya wafani biyashara. Wakitoka kila mose. Natangasa katika biyashara yake. Wana enda mbele zao. Tengesa njia wa sikuwa na njia. Katika china na Yesu. Kristo wa sante, asante. Asante mungu wetu. Jina Yesu Kristo tunaoma pamoja na kuamini. Amen and amen. Begin Yesu.